I've met many women in my life. I've drank with them, laughed with them, and took them home after all the same. But Anissa, Anissa was different. She dressed with power. Bold move wearing yellow for the first date. I've been told yellow represents deceitfulness, hazard, or betrayal, but a woman like her couldn't live up to something like that. Even if hell reached up from the ground and pulled her down and commanded her to. Her eyes were blue and her smile was pure. She never broke eye contact as I spoke to her, and her smile stuck on her like I was the most interesting person on this earth. Women have been fascinated by me, but not the way Anissa was fascinated by me. I drank a lot, much more than her now that I think about it. She seemed to forget about the drink in front of her the more and more I made her laugh. I could tell she really liked me and I hadn't even got to telling her what I do for a living. She was shorter than I thought. The bar stool didn't help of course when I first approached her at the bar. When we walked back to the car she walked with purpose. She was eager to take me back to her place. What can I say? The house was clean. It smelled like ginger, ironic enough. And she took no time telling me, no, showing me what she wanted. That dress, that pretty yellow dress, found its way to the floor right away. I'm not really sure what happened after that night. How long has it been? It's been a week. Jesus. Mr. Baker, we want to find this girl just as much as I'm sure you do. But we need more than just your statement. We need leads. Mr. Baker, we've been looking for this woman for quite a while. She slipped up, we got lucky, and found you. Please, try to remember anything about the woman in the yellow dress. She stole my watch. You gotta let that go. The watch has a price tag. Her next victim's life doesn't. Sunrise Alley. That's where I met her. That's where she'll be. How do you know? She wouldn't be at the same place she committed a kidnapping. She told me after she broke the last finger on my hand. She said, You are no different than the man I brought here last week. And you're just the same as the one I'm bringing this week. I go to that restaurant every week and men come at me like a pack of starving dogs. I'm doing the world justice by doing this to you. I know she'll be there. 